I am probably the last guy that wants to admit this, and all sorts of guys have been saying it for years, but the long hood trucks may finally be going the way of the dodo bird. DriveWise is a leader in connected truck services. They offer DriveWise PreClear, North America's largest scale bypass preclearance system. They also offer DriveWise Safety Plus, a connected driving tool that helps drivers avoid hazards and monitor their speed. DriveWise products connect to all major ELDs, iOS, and Android devices. Check them out at DriveWise.com. Peterbilt has recently announced the limited edition 389X. Now, when Peterbilt announced the addition of the limited edition 379X, it meant that that was the end of the 379 run. So with this limited 389 edition, it probably means that the 389 is also going to go the way of the dodo bird. So it seems like a good time now to look at why the industry has gone away or going away from long hood trucks after all these years. Probably the biggest reason that the industry is going to these short hood or what I like to call curb sniffer trucks is fuel mileage. And they've accomplished that mainly by trimming the hood off and dropping it down. So instead of being flat out, the hood on these new trucks now dry off, drops down and slopes drastically towards the road. Hence the term curb sniffers. But this does achieve much better fuel mileage. When they sloped and dropped the nose of the truck, they were also able to set back the steering axle some 20 inches or so in a lot of cases. And this gave them a number of things that actually improved the truck in their opinion. It gave better turning radius and the engineers accomplished this by literally moving the engine back into the driver's cab a little bit that put more weight on the setback axle of these curb sniffer trucks and engineers decided that this was a good idea because it put more weight on the steering axle and that in turn helped a lot of these newer drivers out in snow and slippery conditions because the steering axle already had the weight loaded on it, it gave it better steering. It also made it easier for the new guys to scale these trucks because all of a sudden the steering axles on the curb sniffers were almost at 12,000 pounds when the truck was just sitting there empty as compared to my truck here, which isn't even quite at 10,000 pounds sitting here empty. So then it was one less adjustment for new drivers to have to make because they didn't have to slide the fifth wheel to load weight onto the steering axle, it was already there. Another advantage of that over the long hood trucks was it gave the trucks a much sharper turning radius. Again, and with the bigger trailers coming along, a sharper turning radius made the truck more maneuverable in spaces that were even tighter. And that was advantageous to new drivers and old drivers. Further, Another advantage of the setback steering axle actually reduced the overall wheelbase. And when they did that on the trucks, that meant less frame rail, that meant less weight, that meant that shippers could put more freight on the trucks than ever before because the curb sniffers were lighter than the long hood trucks. By dropping the nose on the short hood trucks from the old height of the long hood trucks, it gave drivers improved visibility out front of the truck. The old long hood trucks like this always had a visibility problem right in front of the grill and they also had a visibility problem where I'm standing now. It was a blind spot. So by dropping the hood, they improved the trucks in these two areas. However, it also produced an unthought of disadvantage and that was that all the curb sniffer trucks would take a lot more weather over the hood and onto the windshield whereas the long hood trucks used to catch it in the grill the other problem with the long hood trucks, and not for the majority of people operating in the States, but for truckers that operated in Alaska or Maine or up here in Northern Ontario, with the nose dropped on the short hood trucks, it also meant that a head on collision with a moose or an elk or some large animal like that put the driver at greater risk of being hurt because it oftentimes would put the animal up over the hood and into the cab of the truck. A side effect of flooding the trucking market with the new curb sniffer trucks 
reduced the resale value of the curb sniffers. And anyone that was out there shopping for a good used truck, and it was generally owner operators, all gravitated towards the long hood trucks just because they were used to them. They looked better, they had a better, sharper appearance, and it hurt the resale value of the short hood trucks. However, with more short hood trucks on the market these days, I expect that that will all level out in the next 10 years because the long hood trucks will become more and more and more difficult to find. I believe it will get to the point within the next 10 years that the long hood trucks will be virtually gone off our highways and the only place you'll ever see them anymore are the truck shows. I've got a story from my past that applies to this, this video. Now all sorts of guys that live in the lower 48 will scoff at the fact that the curb sniffer trucks take big wildlife up over the hood more readily. But trust me on this, in areas where there are moose or big game, it is a problem. And up here in Northern Ontario, where I live, it still is a problem. And I'll tell you one night, I was rolling along, it was dark, it was pitch dark out. I was north of Thunder Bay, and uh, I caught a glimpse of something just off to my left as I was strolling along. And I looked in my side mirror, my side window, as I went by, and here was a moose, a huge moose, staring me square in the face. Now, these big moose, their shoulder height is six feet high, roughly, which is the height of the bottom of my mirror. And then the head and the antlers stick way above that. So you can imagine this thing was basically taller than my truck. And he was standing about this far away from the truck. I don't know how I didn't clip him with the mirror of the breathers as I went by. He was hellish close. Scared the living bejesus out of me. But some of these moose run 1,800 pounds. And it doesn't take much when you hit an 1,800 pound moose to write off the truck completely. So when you're in a curb sniffer, it's, it's just a foregone conclusion that the moose is gonna damage that truck beyond repair and there's a good chance he'll end up in the passenger seat with you. Take care, keep the rubber side down. I prefer the long hood trucks all day long, but they may finally be going away. Stay safe, I'll see you on the backhaul.